Today you guys are getting a sneak peek into the good and the beautiful's health and the physical body science unit study. Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I want to share with you guys the next science unit that we are going to do, which is the good and the beautiful's health and physical body unit. This is for grades three to eight. Um, but I think we're gonna do it with my second grader as well. So I'm gonna show you what uh, the inside of the student journals look like for grades three to six, as well as grades seven and eight. And you're gonna get a look into the actual course little unit book itself. Okay, so here we have the health and physical body unit study. I did not get the book pack for this, but this is the lesson planner. We have the grades three to six student journal and the grade seventh and eighth student journal. So let's see what they're gonna be learning about in this unit. In this unit, the kids are gonna be learning about how the body is formed, the digestive system, the basics of nutrition, vitamins and hydration, the renal system, the circulatory system, the respiratory system, the skeletal system, the musculoskeletal system. These would be the books you would be getting in the book pack, the story of a cold, of a cold and the amazing facts about bones. This is your unit information, it tells you about the videos, the science journal, the science walls, content for younger and older children, activities, and your lesson preparation. This tells you more about the lesson extension, here you have a list of all the supplies needed so that you can prepare in advance. And then you have your vocabulary words in the book that you can cut out and put them in on a science wall. There are many different ways you can do science walls. You can put it on a big trifold board. If you have a magnetic whiteboard, you could use that. Or if you have like one of those cork pin boards, you can do that. Or you can just stick it in a notebook. Or you can even just keep it in this book if you don't feel like doing any of that. Let's look at lesson one. Lesson one talks about how the body is formed. And it gives you an objective, help the children learn about the structure and function of cells and how the human body is formed. The preparation, you need to cut out the parts of cell cards, and then you have the supplies that you need for the activity. By the way, this specific lesson on how the body is formed does not give the details on how a baby is made, but it does say here, a baby begins life as a single cell called the zygote, and the vocabulary words are in blue, if you can see. This cell has all the genetic information from the mother and the father that join together inside the mother's womb where the baby begins to grow. And that's all it says about that. So you can handle that the way you want to. If you want to do the, I mean, that goes over a lot of little kids' heads. Um, we specifically are doing the maturation unit study for my sixth grader first anyway, and then we're gonna get into this, but when my little one is doing this, we're just gonna, Go right past that. I don't think there'll be many questions. And if there are, I can figure it out. <laughs> All right, so going back here, you have a lesson here of traveling through the cell. And it talks about, there's questions for you to ask the child. And then there's a little activity here to learn more about cells. And there's an optional activity here. Uh, so this activity is place the travel through a cell activity page in front of the children, shuffle the parts of a cell cards, place the parts of a cell cards face down along the top of the travel through a cell page and have the child take turns flipping over a card and reading what is on the card. Have that child point to the point of the cell, the part of the cell that the card refers to on the travel through a cell page. And then to find that activity, it's after the entire lesson, you go here and here's a page called travel through a cell. Okay, and then these are the parts of a cell cards that you would cut out. And then here's the cell division and development of baby key cards. Okay, then jumping back into the lesson, it says have the children turn to the cell division development of a baby cards, which is this page here. And then it says in lesson one of the student journals, you cut out the cards and then it tells you exactly what to do. So here's the whole lesson here, there's questions, here's your vocabulary words that need to be put up on your science wall if you're gonna do a science wall. And then there's a video called organ systems and the way you access the video is you just go to the good and the beautiful science video and you'll open up a page like this. You find the human body, health and physical body unit and press play on lesson one. These runners are getting ready for a race. Watch how they carefully stretch and warm up their muscles before fitting their feet onto the sprinting blocks. So these videos are going to solidify the lesson into the child's mind by using visuals, and they're short. This one's only five and a half minutes long. 
So now I'm gonna take you inside the student journal so you can see what a complete lesson would look like. So for the grades three through six journal, going into lesson one, here are the cell division and development of baby cards. They can cut those out. And then they would put them, I guess, in the right order here. And then we'll just flip through the rest of the book for you. Okay. And then let's see. So the seventh and eighth grade journal, you get the same thing as the third through six. but you get more too. So you have the lesson extension here. So here it says, read the information below. On the next page, write at least two differences between the bones of an infant and the bones of an adult. Draw a diagram of the endochondral ossification or explain the process in your own words. And here's some growing bones. They would read this, they would reiterate it here. And then I'll just scroll through this. The lessons here sometimes are a little bit like a step up challenging than the younger ones, and sometimes they're exactly the same and they just add that extension. So because I have a sixth grader, I just get the seventh and eighth one. That way I can choose if I want to add more to him or not. And the pages are all perforated too, in case you need to rip it out. And like if you're homeschooling on the go and you don't want to take the journal, even though it's a very light journal. So you do have that option. I hope you guys enjoyed a look into the science unit. Stay tuned this week in the next few weeks because I'm gonna be giving you guys a look into the different types of curriculum and things that we're using for the second half of our homeschool year. I wanna thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.